anything. What? I'd give anything. I know. Everything hurts. I want to die. Hindsight, 4 a.m. Corvo shots. We've had better ideas. Happy New Year! No! <laughs> uh, I'd give anything for these hangovers to go away. Holy crap. My hangover's gone. Mine too. Try something else. Uh, I'd give anything for two Swiss mushroom and spinach omelets plus a side of chocolate blueberry filled waffles from Union Diner. Ah! Oh. My. Jesus. Okay, my turn. I will do anything to get rid of this vomit. Damn it. I'll do anything to get rid of this vomit. Ah! Quick, do something else. Ask for a million dollars. Or world peace. Or a fancy apartment in the West Village. Wait, fix my uncle's goiter, because who knows how long this will last. What? <laughs> oh! <gasps> Typical man. What? You always said you wanted bigger boobies. These are actually perfect. And you say I never get you anything nice. Let's think bigger. <sighs> That's not what I meant. Right, my bad. We can do anything we want, Bran. Anything. Technically, I. What? Nothing. I mean, we could end world hunger. I. We could get out of this shitty apartment. Still, I. We could fly. <gasps> Ooh, do you think we could fly? Only one way to find out. We can fly! I. Oh my god, we can have that threesome with Emily Ratajkowski. Nah, ever since she dated the Hollywood herpy Pete Davidson, her stock has really fallen. Good point. Scarlet! Scarlet. Wow, you two are amazing. We love you. Let's do this again sometime. I have to go starting a new Woody Allen movie today. Really? He wishes. Thought we were going to stop drinking in the new year? <laughs> no more hangovers, and I can liven up our livers at the snap of a finger? To that I say, Lechaim. All right, fine. To hell with you. Pete Davidson? Every day for the rest of your existence. No! I'm so sorry, baby. I gotta be more careful. What was hell like? It was awful. Wait, you didn't make out with. Oh, damn you, Davidson. You sent me to hell, and now I got this on my face. Make it go away. And the memory. Hold on. I think I need a blast of that, too. Ah, oh, that's better. What's better? I have no idea. Okay, new rule. No more using the memory eraser. You and your rules. Give it over. I can just make another one. Okay, fine. I just want to forget one more thing. What's that? How much of a bitch you're being right now? You owe me an apology. What did I do, baby? You were being such a dick. I was. I'm sorry. Take me on a trip. But I was going to watch the game. Bora Bora, do it now. You're lucky I mostly love you. And you're lucky I'm going to let you bring a 65-inch flat screen with us to Bora Bora. I can't fit that in my carry-on. You get it, because there won't be a carry-on. Yeah, you get it. Now this is really nice. See? Why do you always have to do that? Do what? You love to say, I told you. I didn't say, I told you. I said, see. It's the same thing, and you know it. Just get me a strawberry daiquiri. You know, ever since I got the... Just do it! Yeah, to the moon with you, Alice! <laughs> Pow! Right in the kisser! That's my line! <laughs> hey, baby, did you see that one? Damn it. I'd do anything to bring Margo back to. Hmm, a life without Margo. Then I could really do anything I want. I mean, let's face it, I can already do anything I want, but no Margo. What would that look like? No more being bossed around, no more nagging, no more I told yous, the ultimate freedom. I mean, she is the love of my life, but she can be so annoying sometimes. And she has put on a few pounds. I know I can make her skinny again, but she should do that herself. Earn it. Why should I do all the work? Um, can someone in a very skimpy bikini bring me a beer? Thank you. Wow, you are beautiful. And you can do anything you want to me. Anything? And just how long did it take for you to realize I was gone? I'm sorry. And how many times have you killed me today? Twice. Once to hell, once to the moon. I'll try my best not to do it again. You'll try your best? Brandon, let me tell you something. What am I doing? We've only been dating two years. We're not even engaged. 
Am I really gonna put up with this for the rest of my life when I can do anything I want? The answer to that is most likely hell no! And did you see the girl who brought me that beer? Did you see her? I'd be crazy not to get all up in that. I'm not one to cheat, but man, what would you do if you could do anything? What the hell? Take us back to Bora Bora! Margo, we gotta talk. This is not working for me anymore. What? This is not what I want in a relationship. What do you mean? Being bossed around, yelled at, nagged at, I told you's every other day. As a woman in love, that's my God-given right. Not anymore. Are you serious? Yes. Wait! Brandon, I love you. And one day, you're going to realize what a mistake you made today. And you'll come back to me. And if I decide to take you back, right after... I'll say those three words to you. I told you. And then you'll smile. But until that day comes, I want you to remember this. I did the right thing. Got her a beautiful apartment in the West Village, something she always wanted. Put $500,000 in her bank account so she wouldn't have to work and could focus on her singing career. Even got her a regular gig at Village Vanguard. Some flowers, balloons. And of course, dark chocolate with sea salt and almonds. Her favorite. As for me, I'm going to first have a little more fun with these balloons, and then I'm getting my ass back to Bora because... I'm as free. <coughs> hey, what's up? Are you? Yes, but be careful. We don't want to get sued. Got it. I just have one question for you. Go ahead. So, you see, um, my schedule is, like, totally booked these days. Got the lead in a new off-Broadway show. Well, technically off-off-Broadway. What's your question? I just want to know, are you a good guy or a bad guy? Because I do not have a lot of time in my life for another bad guy right now. I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Okay, that's fair. Hey, you want to come to my opening night? Uh, maybe? February 10th! Boy, when you said anything, you sure meant it. One could say I am not a Bora Bora. Leave the jokes to me, sweetheart. Will I ever see you again? Who says I'm leaving? You kept saying the name Margot in your sleep. She is obviously very important to you. Nah, just a big Margot Robbie fan. Who wants sushi? Mmm. Man, I have the best life ever. Who was crying earlier? <laughs> not this guy. All right, flip over, baby. I'm going to do that to you one more time, then get out of here. I, I, Captain. Impressed that you got that. Did any of you kids? Google it. Or whatever. I don't care. Oh, no, he doesn't. He never, ever calls. But at least I got to kick him in the balls. Oh, don't you break up with me. Yeah, yeah, don't you break up with me. Oh, don't you break up with me. Oh, very soon you'll see. That you'll never go pee pain free. Yay. Hey, you see that plant over there? I'm right next to it. Check this out, bitches. And I'm here. And I'm gone. And I'm here. Okay, I'm Bora Bored. Let's go have some more fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> it was everywhere. So much hair. So much plagiarism. That's a mistake I'll never make again. I need to talk to Claudine Gay. <laughs> She's Dean Claudine. Um, did you just take a shower in there, cis male? I identify as a woman. Oh, my mistake. Okay, this all kind of backfired. I can do better. Ooh, I got an idea. Much better. Much, much better. Hey, um, will that blonde with the tramp stamp come out here, please? Uh, no, I mean the one who misspelled semen demon. And the one who said she had less than, but not equal to, two STDs. Hey, pop quiz. What's the capital of Arizona? The letter A? <laughs> you got Riz. I don't know what that means. Will I ever see you again? Uh, no. Most likely. Hey, why don't you come with me to New York? I've got a board meeting to crash. D.
Dean Claude Dean. <laughs> I'd kill myself. It worked! We made the virus, we let it accidentally slip out, and we charged a ton of money for the cure. <laughs> sure, some people got sick and or maybe died a little. However, it was only the fat and the old, but we made billions, billions! Hooray! Who's ready for the next virus? We'll call this one Bovid. All in favor? Opposed? Yes, what is it, Barry? Um, isn't this morally wrong? Shoot him. Cause it ain't America without guns and vaccines! <laughs> well, what the hell? The United States owes us so much money, but one virus was not enough to make it all back. So, we have a new deal now. They are going to release Bovid. And we will sell the silly Americans even more masks. All in favor? <laughs> Opposed? <sighs> yes, what is it, Barry? Um, isn't this morally wrong? Shoot him. Cause it ain't China without Chinese stars and masks. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Yes, more, more, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I'm going to do something about this. I'm going to let the world know I am going to do something about this. But first... <laughs> Man, I am really going to do something about this. People need to know the truth about Bovid and these masks. And that Donald Trump really does love urine. I'll go on Oprah or Bill Maher. Ben Shapiro fans will believe it whether it's true or not. I am going to do this. It is too important. What are you going to do? Eh, wasn't important. Do it to me one more time. Why are you doing that callback joke? The TikTokers didn't even get it the first time. I'm sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. Just say the words Billie Eilish and show your boobies. We'll get mad views. Billie Eilish. What? We don't want to get kicked off TikTok. Cash app us for the real deal. Unsure where I'll go, unsure where I've been. Only thing I know is how much I loved him. Unsure why he left, unsure what to do. Oh, how I was lost till the day I met you. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I'm going to take a little break. Get yourselves a drink. Tip your bartenders. And me. <laughs> huh. Yay. Is this really how I'm going to spend my life? Doing anything I want? Sleeping with anyone I want? No repercussions? No one to answer to? <laughs> what about Margot? I do love her. Sure, she can be a bit of a pain in the ass from time to time, but she is smart, funny, beautiful, and is most of the time pretty fun to be around. She did kick me in the balls, though. <laughs> we used to have fun. We used to do things. Lately, though, we would just drink and our sex life was non-existent. Though that Scarlet reason was pretty hot, huh? I just don't know. What do you think? I couldn't hear you. You were narrating again. Oh, right. Mind your own business. I'm teleporting you home. Wait, I want to know how it ends. He gets AIDS. <gasps> he really was phenomenal, don't you think? Oh. God, she looked good the other night. And she sang beautifully. But who was that guy? And how long have they been together? Long enough for her to write him a song. She used to write me songs. What have I done? Why did I... Um, so I guess we're only talking about you this morning? You were great last night. On stage? Or in bed? The stage. No offense. This is just something I always wanted to try. But it's not for me. Everything's just a little too pointy, a little too hairy. May I suggest a little manscaping from time to time? Yeah, I gotta go.
This episode was brought to you by The Trevor Project, protecting the children who are LGBTQIA, 2S+, FBI, CIA, USSR, HBO, CNN, NBC, TMZ. Hello, everybody. Brandon here. We love and support all sexes, genders, races, religions, and vaccine statuses. But we need views. And with the amount of LGBTQIA, 2S+, FBI, CIA, USSR, HBO, CNN, NBC, TMZ jokes we intend to make, we want to make sure to be as inclusive as possible and not leave anyone out or get canceled by cancel culture. You can call us equal opportunity offenders. What we're trying to say with today's episode is that we're pro-gay. Hell, I just f- super gay man for ratings. And if anyone is offended by super gay man, just check out Superman Returns. It starred a gay man and was directed by a gay man. Google it or whatever. I don't give a f- Call me! Did you see that? See what? That handshake. That was for me. I was supposed to be there at that exact moment of that exact time. And instead of my hand, the man in the white mistook me for you because you were also wearing a black suit that night. (laughs) Who is he? Take us back. I had you take us back in time to show you exactly what you took from me. Thank you. Didn't even think about time travel. We're going to have some fun in season two. Season two. What the? And since you took what's most important to me, Brandon, I have taken what's most important to you. Oh, God, is she delicious. (laughs) Just pumping her. And until I figure out a way to transfer your abilities to me, Margot will be mine. (laughs) Oh, thank God I was blessed with my gifts. You do realize I can throw you out the window or ship you to Siberia or force you to live in Portland. Wait, 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 wait. Which Portland? Oregon. No, please. No, not there. (laughs) So the villain in this story has a weakness. However, so does the hero. Oh, yeah. What's that? Love. (laughs) <laughs> what was your ex-girlfriend's name again Myrna <laughs> whatever I'm banging her I should know you don't believe in love I did once she was perfect but now there are far greater things that interest me in this world and while I may not have your abilities yet I still have my own powers and I have used them to make Margot fall in love with me Oh, so do your worst, Brandon. Do your worst. Bum, bum, bum. (laughs) Let me get this straight. If I give you back these powers, you'll leave Margo alone? We'll call it the trade. When I figure out how and when, I'll let you know. Until that day comes, just know this. I am going to be (laughs) the (laughs) shit out of your girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. What was her name again? Miranda? Well, then I hope you like yourself some strap-ons and scissoring. What by heavens do you mean? (laughs) All right, Mr. Black Suit. It's actually Gus. Gus? Can we make fun of my name another time? You just gave me a vagina. Fair enough. We are pro-trans, though, mostly for ratings. Screw Alcoholics Anonymous. I quit. Besides, when did one beer ever hurt anybody? Now you listen to me, Gus, and listen very clearly. Just know this. To get Margot back, I will do anything! Anything!